Today's guest is Simba. Pics and videos are brought thanks to Simba the Malinois. The Belgian Malinois is one of four varieties of Belgian sheepdogs, which were developed in Belgium in the late 1800s. Each of the four varieties was named for the region around Brussels where it was developed. The short-haired fawn Malinois in the Malin region, the long-haired fawn Tervuren from the town of Tervuren, the long-coated black Gronendale from the town of Gronendale, and the wire-coated fawn Lakenois from Laken. Most of the world's national kennel clubs, including the Société Royale Saint-Hubert as well as the Fédération Sinologique Internationale, recognize the Belgian Shepherd as a single breed with four distinct varieties. Notably, the American Kennel Club recognizes the four varieties as separate breeds. Today's Malinois can be traced to a breeding pair owned by a shepherd from Lakin named Adrian Janssens. In 1885, he purchased a pale, fawn, rough-haired dog called Vasta Lakin. Janssens bred him to a short-haired, brindle-brown dog named Lees, also known as Lisk de Lakin. That mating established a line of homogeneous dogs, in 1891, the Club du Chien de Burger Beige was founded. In that same year, Dr. Adolphe Rule brought together a group of individuals from various Belgian counties to determine if there was a national sheepdog. The panel of experts reviewed 117 representatives and determined that there was indeed a consistent type of a Belgian Shepherd breed. In 1892, the first standard for the breed was written, describing the three varieties of coat, long, short and rough. This standard was reworked many times over the years to reach the definitive classification and description of the four varieties of the Belgian Shepherd, divided by coat texture, coat color, and coat length. Belgian Shepherds in addition to having developed herding tasks were also employed as guard dogs and were the first dogs used by the Belgian police. When World War I broke out, many Belgian Shepherd dogs were employed by the military for many jobs including messenger dogs, Red Cross dogs, and ambulance cart dogs. The Malinois first arrived in the United States in the early 1900s. The Great Depression and importation restrictions during World War II caused the breed to diminish in the US. But its popularity rose again in the 1960s. In the last decade, Belgian Malinois dogs have received a lot of attention for their work in the military, drug detection agencies, search and rescue operations, and police forces around the country. The Belgian Malinois is a well-balanced square dog, elegant, with an exceedingly proud carriage of head and neck. Bred to work, mouths are strong, agile, well-muscled, alert, and full of life. The head is long, rectilinear, well-chiseled, and carried high. Malinois eyes are of medium size, neither protruding nor sunken, slightly almond-shaped, and obliquely set. These are brown, preferably dark brown, with black-rimmed upper and lower eyelids, and radiate attentiveness and readiness for action. The ears are rather small, set high, and distinctly triangular with a well-cupped outer ear and pointed tips. Skull and muzzle are roughly equal in length. The top skull is of medium width, in proportion with the length of the head. Its forehead is flat rather than round, and the stop is moderate. The muzzle is medium length, narrowing gradually toward its black nose, like an elongated wedge. Belgian Malinois has a full complement of strong white teeth that are set evenly and neat in scissors or level bite. The neck is slightly elongated, well-muscled, broadening gradually towards the shoulders, and slightly arched. The withers are pronounced, and the back is firm. The underline rises gently in a harmonious curve toward the abdomen, which is neither tucked up nor paunchy. The chest is neither broad nor narrow, but well let down. The tail is strong at the base, reaching the hock, and carried down at rest. It is curved and raised when moving but not passing the horizontal or forming a hook. The legs are straight, strong, and parallel to each other. The bone is solid but not heavy. Malinois have short, straight hair that feels hard to the touch. The hard topcoat and dense undercoat provide weather resistance for a dog who was bred to work outdoors in all conditions. The hair is slightly longer around the neck, where it forms a collarette, and on the tail and backs of the thighs. 
The coat is typically fawn to mahogany colored with a black mask on the face, black ears, and black tips on the hairs. The blackening must not appear as patched or brindled. Fawn-colored Malinois sometimes have a tiny bit of white on the tips of their toes or a small white spot on the chest. While males typically stand up to 24 to 26 inches, 61 to 66 centimeters in height at the withers, and weigh 60 to 80 pounds, 27 to 36 kilograms. Females stand up to 22 to 24 inches, 56 to 61 centimeters, and weigh 40 to 60 pounds, 18 to 27 kilograms. The length, measured from the point of the breastbone to the point of the rump, should equal the height. Belgian Malinois have a life expectancy of 12 to 14 years. And, the required level of physical activity is high. The Belgian Malinois is not the right breed for everyone. While their grooming is fairly simple, it is essential for them to receive vigorous daily exercise and mental stimulation. Though they can adapt to many living situations if properly exercised, males will be happiest in a home with a large, securely fenced yard to stretch their legs. Malinois are built for action, and though rarely employed as herding dogs today, their stamina remains. They need about 20 minutes of activity three or four times a day, and a leisurely walk won't satisfy them. If you like to hike or jog, your Belgian Malinois will be happy to be by your side. Consider training them to compete in obedience or agility. However, puppies from 9 weeks to 4 months of age have different exercise requirements. They will need 15 to 20 minutes of playtime in the yard twice a day, and puppy kindergarten once or twice a week is highly recommended to get exercise, training, and socialization. 4 to 6 months of age puppies will need weekly obedience classes and daily half-mile walks. As they continue to mature, you can increase the distance in time you run, giving them frequent breaks and avoiding hard surfaces such as asphalt and concrete. The Belgian Malinois is a very smart, sensitive, obedient, and highly trainable dog. They form intense bonds with their owners and are happiest accompanying their humans in anything and everything they do. This devout loyalty makes Belgian Malinois unsuitable to be alone for long periods, and a lonely male will likely develop separation anxiety. Bred to herd, males might be too much for young children and other pets. These dogs are instinctively protective, so they should be trained and socialized from an early age. Socialization with other people and animals, exposure to different sights and sounds, and positive reinforcement training are a must for a well-rounded male. Be firm, calm, and consistent with them. Firm, but not harsh. Anger and physical force are always counterproductive. There's a good reason the Belgian Malinois is a favorite among working dogs. With his strong, powerful body and confident demeanor, there isn't much this dog can't accomplish. From working with Navy SEALs to keeping a watchful eye over his family at home, the Mal is a steadfast companion. Belgian Malinois are generally healthy, but like all breeds, they're prone to certain health conditions such as hip dysplasia. It is an inherited condition in which the thigh bone doesn't fit snugly into the hip joint. Weakness, lameness, or pain in the hips are signs of this hereditary condition. Elbow dysplasia. Similar to hip dysplasia, this is also a degenerative disease. Progressive retinal atrophy, PRA. This is a degenerative eye disorder. Blindness caused by PRA is a slow process resulting from the loss of photoreceptors at the back of the eye. It is detectable years before the dog shows signs of blindness. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget that each new subscriber and positive comment motivates us to create more and better content. Thanks for watching.